How you feel? She like a movie star. What the deal? What the like deal? Like a chocolate candy yeah. bar. How you feel? How you she feel? She like a movie star. Uh -huh. Like a chocolate candy bar. Uh -huh. She looks like a Hey, you love love, you little fly ladybug Come and swing this episode with Muff from up above With them Earl jeans on, fitting tight like a glove You little cinnamon What is up, guys? Come Welcome show me to another love. episode of Maximilian Must Know This is another sample shopping episode uh, Two of seven coming up This is the second one We'll have five more after this for this haul And again, all these videos, sample shopping videos Are sponsored by DecantShop.com the reason you're able to see these and enjoy these is because of the generosity of decantshop.com. Uh, she, uh, a owner, Adriana, provides the scent, uh, the scents for these. And if you want to um, show her that and show me that you enjoy these, please use decantshop.com. Coupon code MAX12, 12% 12 of your entire order. And I mentioned this last week. I'm going to mention it again. If there are old bottles that you have that are sitting around gaining dust or just not being worn, you can trade those in for credit or money. So take a look at your collection. See if there's anything there that you just don't want anymore or you want to get rid of. Maybe you have too much of it and the deal can be worked out. Just email um, decant shop and um, Adriana have, can have a conversation with you about that and again hard to find uh, fragrances discontinued fragrances niche fragrances vintage fragrances designer fragrances all on decantshop.com the selection is growing every day the shipping is the fastest and the prices are unbelievable add in that 12% discount you get when you use coupon code max 12 and you have a deal that just cannot be matched by other any other site online or offline that sells decants or samples you have my word on that again show me where our prices are consistently better will not happen you can't do it so decanshop.com coupon code max 12 now we have four fragrances this week and we're going to start the week off by talking um about a house that i haven't paid a ton of attention to and that's the house of van cleef and arpels now i think the reason that this house um hasn't gotten the shine it deserves is because they don't do a ton of male sense midnight in paris is an absolute favorite of mine it made my top 10 value fragrances in 2013 and i think the bottle and fragrance are absolutely fantastic i really like midnight in paris so when i saw decan shop um when i saw that decan shop had this one called orchid Vini, i said let me give it a try and this one can be picked up at lucky scent it retails at 185 dollars for 75 ml notes on this fragrance are mandarin orange lychee bitter almond dark chocolate bulgarian rose violet vanilla pod cedar tonka and white musk and after reading the notes i thought this was going to be much more sweet and gourmand like um unfortunately it's very boring to me uh it really really is it, it's also not a powerhouse it's it's strangely subtle it doesn't leap off my skin sort of difficult to smell at all um all i get is really just a faint smell of vanilla with some woods and like a vanilla pod not like um sweet or gourmandy vanilla like dry vanilla pod but that's all i get i just don't pick up any of the lychee or almond or dark chocolate or orange so when i looked at the notes i was like man i cannot wait to try this one but to me, for me this has just been a, a an utter disappointment um i don't like it i'm not, I just don't like it. I just don't think it has enough behind it, enough strength to, to carry all those those notes. And if you buy it, you're going to be disappointed. Look, blind buying it, looking at those notes, I think it's hard not to be disappointed because it sounds like an outrageous gourmand and it's anything but that. Now, next up, we have another Tom Ford Private Blend scent. I'm pretty sure that this is another one that's been discontinued. I haven't seen this one anywhere in forever, and it is called Arabian Wood. Now... Well, I haven't seen this one in stores. I have seen it on eBay quite frequently, and obviously Decan Shop has it as, uh, as well. I've been pretty let down by the Tom Ford Private Blend line. I think so far the only three that I really consider bottle-worthy, for me at least, are Oud Wood, Tuscan Leather, and Tobacco Vini. But those are very close to 10 out of 10s. So when they do a good fragrance, they do it really well. Also, their de designer line is fantastic. I think Black Orchid uh, is fantastic. Um, I think Tom Ford Extreme is, is fantastic. I think they just do designer scents um, really, really well. I'm really excited to try Sahara Noir um, soon as well. So... Um, 
with the private blends, I think there are just too many mediocre ones in my opinion. Notes on Arabian Wood are Bergamot, Freesia, Lavender, Orange Blossom, Rose, Galbanum, Gardenia, Jasmine, Honey, Oris, Patchouli, Cedarwood, Oak Moss, Sandalwood, Honey, Tonka Bean, and Amber. And this was a 2008 release. And how is this one? Well, it's very woody. But uh, nothing special about this fragrance at all to me. It's it's a spice wood fragrance of a, of a, of a good quality. It's a, I'd say it's a high quality um, wood fragrance. But um, I don't think there's anything too appealing about it. It's just sort of meh. Um, the gap between some of the Tom Ford private blend scents like the one I, I mentioned in the past and ones like this is insane. Uh, I won't go out of your way for this. I'm also surprised that a fragrance called Arabian Wood doesn't have any oud in it, but that's just me. I just don't dig this one. I don't know. It's definitely a woody fragrance. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's just nothing about this stands out, especially at that private blend um, price point. Next up, we have a fragrance from the House of Atelier. Um, this is a house that has been a longtime favorite of reviewers. Uh, people seem to love Vetiver Fatale and the Rose uh, one and Orange Sanguine. This is the third sample that I've acquired from this house. We talked about gold leather a few weeks back, which I enjoyed. Um, I also just got a sample of Mistral Patchouli, which I haven't gotten my nose on yet. And in this haul, we're looking at Vanilla Insensé. Now, normal atelier pricing on this one, 30 ml for $75, 200 ml for 185, or 100 ml for 120. That 100 ml seems to be the way to go, I think, with these scents. Uh, Lucky Scents carries this house, Bergdorf carries this house, and they have a store in the village in NYC. And you know, with it, your 200 ml bottle from the store, you get a free 30 ml of whatever you want with a leather case with your name and your initials engraved on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, notes on this one, Vanilla and Sancé, are Lime, Cedar, Coriander, Jasmine, Vetiver, Oak Moss, Madagascar, Vanilla, Oakwood, and Amber. So I was really excited to get my nose on this. And, you know, speaking of mediocre vanilla fragrances, here's another one. Um, I think that if you're looking for vanilla-based fragrance, there are so many options out there now. You know, and at this price range, I'd much prefer Memoirs of a Trespasser. Um, spend some more money. You could get tobacco vanilla. You could get Spiritus Double Vanilla. Um, you know, want to spend less? You can get Eau de Bao. I find this to be very weak, very dry. Just wouldn't be my choice personally. Not a bad scent, but to me, it's got more designer in its bloodline than it does niche. And um, I just don't like this one either. So, <laughs> boy, it's funny because I, I liked every single one last week, all four. So maybe. This is just the equilibrium of things balancing out. Uh, finally this week, a vintage fragrance from one of the designer houses that I collect. This is from the Hermes house. This is one of their older offerings from the pre-Elena era. This one is called Rockabar. And it was released in 1998 by perfume Giles Romney. And you can typically find this online for about $125 for 100 ml. So a bit higher than your average designer prices as most Hermes scents are. This is the vintage version. It is this is the one prior to the reformulation. I think Eleanor reformulated it. And the notes on this are juniper berry, cedar needles, um, lavender, nutmeg, and cinnamon at the top, cypress, and two types of cedar in the middle, and the base is made up of balsam and vanilla. So looking at the notes, you think, oh, this is going to be a darker scent, and it is a darker scent. It's a really nice designer offering. The higher price tag makes sense to me in regards to some houses like Chanel, Dior, and Hermes. You know, they all do their fragrances in-house. And um, I get why they charge more because they use better ingredients and their scents are usually more, um, more nuanced and more interesting. Uh, Rockabar is very different than, than the stuff that's on the shelf at, at your mall or at Sephora. It's a, a, a spicy sort of holiday Scent. I get cinnamon and pine. You know what it reminds me of uh, a bit? It reminds me of a better, sort of more ballsy, more creative version of Burberry London. Uh, Burberry London on a much higher quality level, a little less hokey with the obvious like port wine and pine notes. This is sort of more, um, more restrained, more refined. Um, l less is suggested here and more is insinuated. Um, 
it's it's this is an interesting fragrance i i, I like this i don't know if I, i'm gonna buy this but um it, it, it interests me so if we're gonna do the breakdown of best to worst i think rockabar is the best i think next up arabian wood uh would be my number two uh orchid vinny would be my number three and vanilla vanilla and sauce would be number four and i think the only one that might be bottle worthy for me is Rockabar, and because uh, I collect hair mates, I'll probably be picking that up. I don't know if I'll be getting the vintage formulation. I'll have to smell the re reformulation to make that decision. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Maximilian Must Know. We will be back next week, and we're going to be looking at um, fragrances next week. I'll give you guys a little preview. We're going to be looking at a fragrance by Guerlain. We're going to be looking at a fragrance from Lubin. We're going to be looking at a fragrance from Comme de Garçon. And we're going to be looking at a fragrance from Montal. So a lot of good stuff coming up for you guys. Again, this was episode two. We have five more coming up. Show Decan Shop some love. Hit up the website. Get yourself some samples. Use coupon code MAX12. And again, don't let what you have collect dust. If you have bottles that are aren't working for you, you're not using them in the world, and they're just sitting there and not making you money, make some money off those bottles, hit up Decan Shop, work out a deal for store credit or, or, or money, and uh, you know make use of what you have in your collection. Anyway, I, uh, I'll be back with a fragrance review this weekend and two more videos next week. You guys already know, my name is Maximilian. Yeah. She looks like a movie star. Uh -huh. Like you chocolate candy bar. Uh -huh. she, she looks like, like a movie star. Uh -huh. yeah. Like a chocolate candy bar. She I looks like a I seen her at the park on the black top watching the kids play.